Hey y'all, it's Jamila, and I'm back again with another tutorial. Heat Transfer Warehouse sent me a bag full of goodies for a Halloween challenge that they're doing. And I decided I wanted to go ahead and um, show you guys how I layer vinyl. I had to choose three of the materials or, or the vinyls that they sent me, and I ended up going with six. So the design has six different layers. So let me show you real quick what they sent me. They sent me two long sleeve black shirts, this black tote. We have holographic vinyl, there's glitter vinyl, there's puff vinyl. Um, what else do we have in here? There is more puff and more glitter. There's also reflective and metallic. At the beginning of, of the tutorial, I will walk you through everything that I used. I ended up going with the long sleeve shirt. If you're new here or not already a subscriber, go ahead and smash the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. I do try to post a new video twice a week. Sometimes it doesn't work out like that, but I do my very, very, very best. So smash the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, and let's get into it. I have six vinyls here. I have a purple or Easy Weed Wicked Purple. Walla Cut Puff Neon Orange. Easy Weed Glow. Scissor or Sizer, however you say it. Sizer Easy Weed Matte Moss Green. Sizer Easy Weed Orange. And the Sizer Holographic Fire Flit Pearl. And I decided to put that on the black shirt. So anytime I layer vinyl, I like to layer the design um, first. And I'll show you how I do that. So in this step of layering, you start with your bottom most and work your way up the way you're going to layer them on your um, shirt or whatever you're putting the layer design on. And you just keep going until you have all of your layers down on your design. The reason why I do this, the fold, is so that I can line them up and make sure that they're centered. Um, it won't matter later. And I may or may not have said this, but um, I do this to make it a little bit easier to place and to see where I want my design to go when I get ready to put it on the shirt and also um, layering it at least for me before you get ready to press it is a good way a good trial run um, just to kind of see how everything is going to look and you know if it's going to fit where you need it to fit so that's why I do that I'm sure most people don't take this much time to do this, but I like to make sure that everything is going to align correctly on whatever I am working on. So now we're going to get ready to press the shirt. And that's everything except for we have this puff here um, that goes above and below the design. Now each of these materials that I've chosen all have a different heat temp and um, a different amount of time. So I am actually going to start with obviously my Easy Weed, my um, bottom most layer. But before I do that, give my um, shirt a quick press down the middle with my easy press to um, just so that when I get ready to lay everything, I can find the center. 
pretty easily. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but it just leaves a line down the center of your shirt. Now, before I start pressing, I'm actually going to go ahead and lay everything out again. Just to see where I want to um, put everything. Now, I usually go three to four fingers down and... That's far enough, but normally, but I want to make it go down just a little bit more. And the puff vinyl is actually going to be the last, very last um, layer I put on. Alright, so everything's perfect. Now... I'm going to peel up everything except for my cauldron. And I'm not going to press this for the full amount of time. I just want to press this enough for it to sit on the shirt. And then I'm actually, I am actually let the um, shirt cool a bit. And I'm just going to continue that same method that I started with. Once you pull everything else up, you may have to make some adjustments. Go ahead and do that. And because we're only um, pressing it long enough for it to stick, you want to be very careful removing your transfer sheet. And just continue until you have everything layered on your shirt. And this is just parchment paper to protect the exposed um, areas of my vinyl. You just give it a quick press, let it cool for a couple seconds, and then pull it back. Just remember that this is not completely adhered at the moment. All right, so I'm on my last layer and I'm just gonna go ahead and place that onto the shirt. And give it one more quick press. And this time I'm going to do the 330 um, that I normally do for 15 seconds. And before I put on the puff, I am going to press on the back for the same amount of time. Because the puff is like, you know, you have to press it one time and that's it. You're done. And you need a lot of heat and a lot of press. I mean, you need a lot of pressure, not necessarily a lot of heat. So there's the front. Or there's that part. There's the, there is the cauldron. So let's get everything else going. I did not use my easy press mat last time I did puff, um, a puff video. So I am going to try it this time. Um, the, the temperature for this is 275 and you need like 10 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the temperature on my easy press and get this lined up on my shirt. And we're just gonna wait for that to cool down a bit. All right, so the easy press is ready. I'm gonna actually press this in two separate sections. I'm gonna do the brew part first and then go back and do the look at what you made me. And you need lots of pressure and it's 10 seconds. Actually going 
to flip to do the other side. Same thing. All your body weight for 10 seconds. And there's our shirt. It actually came out um, a lot better. The, the puff came out a lot better. I'll link everything that I used um, so that you know where, the, where to find that. And, and here's the final product. If you watched my puff video, you saw that I used a towel. I thought that the easy press mat would not give me enough pressure, but this actually turned out a lot better using my easy press mat. Now you know you can use your easy press mat on the puff vinyl, uh, but this turned out really good. I love the look that the holographic vinyl gives the fire and the white part actually glows in the dark. So I'm going to turn the lights out real quick and I'll be right back. And you can see where it's going. Go ahead and drop me a comment below of what you'd like to see next. Uh -huh.